What's tonight's topic, Joy? It's uh, tonight's topic is Carnival drink packages. That's right, Carnival Cruise Lines drink packages. Exactly. So that's a good topic. I think uh, as we're all getting ready to go back on cruises, if you haven't been back on one already, maybe you're already thinking about, gee, am I gonna have a drink package? So we'll be talking about that in just a few minutes. And we'll also talk about, after that, we'll talk about um, some Norwegian cruise food. So we're mixing up. We got the drink, we got the food, we got carnival, we got Norwegian. So, hey, we got a little something for everyone. Yes. So we hope you enjoy that. And um, be sure to comment or put in the chat your opinions, share your thoughts, share your experiences. We really want to know what you're thinking. So um, with that, what else do we need to say? Uh, give us a, give us a thumbs up if you like our we the information. We, we haven't provide. given any information yet, so <laughs> it, don't give the thumbs up yet. Well, you can. You can. Okay. It it helps us actually. It does help us. The sooner you give a thumbs up, the better. Yeah. And um, so let's let's get started with um our topic. All right. And um, before we do that, we should mention what we're doing next week, just as a teaser. Do you want to tell them what we're doing next sure. next Monday? Next Monday, we are doing um, cruise versus inclusive resorts, <laughs> such as sandals. Did you did you did you look that up? It looked like you were reading something. I I was looking at my. You notes, were looking yeah. at your planner. Yes, my planner. The top exactly. secret, Joy's top secret cruise day fun live cruise planner. Yes. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. So we're going to talk about drink packages now, and next time we're going to be talking about cruises versus all inclusive, right? Right. Exactly. Awesome. And we got to give give a shout out to our to our friends uh, MGM Family Travel. Good to see you guys here, uh, or or have you here? Um, guess we can't really see them but they can see us yeah so you, you know but uh, you're lucky you get to see her but unfortunately you're stuck getting to see me but Aww. tonight's topic <laughs> carnival drink packages yep. so should we get started yes let's what do, where let's do. What, what 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 do we where should we start what what do people so, even know about the carnival drink packages they may have heard about the type there's like one or two different types but i broke mm -hmm. it down to three types of drink packages okay that are on carnival or with okay. carnival i think i know which so, one i'm gonna like <laughs> but okay let's, so, let's talk so so just to get this out of the way mm -hmm. all the pricing and uh information are during the time when i researched it okay so, so as of this recording as of this live show exactly. in case you're watching it later it, it could change and i suppose it depends on the cruise a little bit right right so so roughly the how much are we duration talking? of the cruise and, and what are, do you want to give us the three you said there's three options yes okay what are the do you want to show us the three options yes okay there is the bottomless bubble bottomless right. bubble yep bottomless that's, bubbles yep that's that's the first option. Should I say? Should I'll I say my joke about uh, about Michael Jackson's monkey again? No. No. Okay, that's not. Please good. don't. Okay. Bottomless <laughs> bubbles. No. And no then, joke there. And then there's the cheers. Cheers package. Oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, I I'll drink to that. Okay. And what's the? <laughs> and she drinks. She's gonna tell us the third option. And the she third drinks option. And drops the enamel mug loudly next to the microphone. Oh, Did you hear sorry. That? I'll do it again. Just okay. No, I'll do. It. Oh. <sighs> and the third Framework. option is you pay as you go. I'll pay as you go. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. if you if you pay as you go, paying per drink, um, what do we know? Kind of what people or should should we tell them kind of what a drink normally costs on a cruise? Because it yeah. might not be the same as your neighborhood bar. Right. You want me to cover that, or you you you, you can cover that. I definitely know. <laughs> Now, if you're talking about soda pop, like a Pepsi or something, I mean, you're probably talking about like about two, two fifty, something like that. I think yeah. um, on, a, on a cruise. Um, if you're talking about a beer or something, you're probably talking close to five, seven bucks, something like that. And if you're talking about a cocktail, well, it depends on what the cocktail is. It could be, it can be pretty pricey. But yeah, your the individual drink is going to cost you. So you know, it really depends on a if you're a drinker, b oh, if yeah. you're, uh, if you. B, if you drink coffee or tea or water, uh -huh. or C, if you do a mixture of all of them. Right. 
So and, and there's, got you covered. Yeah, and there there is there is option. Uh, some drinks are included in the price of the cruise, like right. uh, iced tea, um, wa uh, tap water, that sort of thing, coffee tea. Um, you know, uh, basic base the basic right. drinks. You, you don't have to pay anything for those once you paid your your fare. But exactly. we're talking about the special drinks, the the fun stuff. So the first package. Mm -hmm drink package is called the bottomless bubbles yes. and what that is is it covers soda or pop or soft drinks and it covers juice so uh for children it's 5.95 uh -huh. per child per day uh -huh. and for adults it's 8.50 per adult per day okay so depending on how long it is you know, if it's a right. three-day cruise, or they can but, multiply that to figure yeah. it out. So, okay, so for an adult, the, it's about eight fifty, and then, again, these prices are rough. But this, as of right now, it's roughly what it is per day. Mm -hmm. So that with that, they could get Pepsi, diet Pepsi, that sort of thing. Right. Okay. And um, juice. Oh, and juice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, where can you purchase these items? Um, at uh, Royal Caribbean. No. <laughs> no. This is carnival. That was a bad joke. Okay. Carnival. So yes. You can purchase it beforehand before you go on the cruise. Uh huh. You can purchase it in the lobby, in the casino, okay. and in the pool bar areas. So Okay, so you can before you go on the cruise, you can when you call make a reservation order, you can say, I also want to get that bottomless bubbles. Exactly. No, not the monkey. I want to get the get the the drink, the soda You're drink package. Snuck it in. Oh, I didn't, oh I didn't what that. do I have to work with? And, uh, or you can go when you go online after you book your cruise, or when you book a cruise, you can go in and add that on, like an add-on, like you like you'd order. You can only add it on mm -hmm. before the cruise. The by eleven fifty nine p.m. Okay. Before the day of the cruise. Okay, so once it strikes midnight on the day of your cruise, you gotta wait until you're on board to do it. Exactly. So exactly. is there any advantage to to? Do, I mean, why not just wait till you're on board? Sounds like maybe that's well, easier anyway. Well, there may be an advantage because sometimes they have deals. You know. Okay. So the price might be a little less if you order ahead of time. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. And also, like if you order, if you can order online. You don't have to wait in line at the casino. Right, it's already whatever. covered. You're, you're already it's covered. It's waiting okay. for you in your room on your on your uh, like card, that. your yeah. lanyard card. Okay. Your sail by go go by sail. Awesome. Your, you're your making sale stuff card. up. Let's talk about the monkey again. <laughs> no. Okay. Go go. Okay, so so. And the nice thing about the bottomless bubbles mm -hmm. is there's no minimum age. Any age person can get this. Wow. I know. Okay. Listen, there's not a drink age limit like for the alcohol package. Well, it's it's kind of like how it's on land. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Exactly. So, no age limit on the bottomless bubbles, and you can have as many bubbles as you want because they're bottomless. Exactly. Okay. Anything else we should know about bottomless bubbles? And you can enjoy it anytime at the bar, the poolside, mm -hmm. at during meals. Mm -hmm. um, the only part. That you can't enjoy it is in your mini bar. Oh, your, if you're ordering from meal service, room oh. service, room service, it's 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 not included. But you can't right. use the bottomless bubbles. Right. And, okay, the mini bar, and I don't know many. I don't think a lot of the carnival ships have the mini bars anymore. But I'm not surprised that they would make an exception for that because I think those are uh, certainly priced up. And they have. One beverage serving per sticker at a time. So you can't uh, get like two or three bottles of pop at the same time. It's one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> so MGM Family Travel Travels says bubbles would be better if included in milkshakes. Oh, yeah. I got to agree. You but you know what? put that in the comments. But there's no bubbles in, in milkshakes. They got to have a milkshake you can make package. You can make bubbles. Yeah, like you're a kid? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, maybe it's better we don't get the milkshakes when we're on a cruise. So if you wanted soft drinks, mm -hmm. um, it's 16 ounces per glass. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so then for juices, uh -huh. it's 10 ounces. Oh. So. And, and you said before you can't get more than one at a, a, a time. So you couldn't get a juice and a, and a, and a Pepsi and. Uh, right. 
It's only I one do drink package per person. So if you wanted to get like orange juice and pop at the same time, they so you can't you can't you can't just go up there and get a bunch of drinks and share them with your friends. Exactly. Okay. It's I, one I, I, one drink per person. Okay. Okay. So in the package is only for <coughs> oh, I mean goodness. Only for program is for only onboard purchases. On so, board, mm -hmm. onboard purchase. Okay, so if you go to a private island or you go to a port port of call, you, you, you can't you can't you can't, you can't use you your can't go in you town and cause and like, I got a sticker on my card. <laughs> they just look at you and like, what are you? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, okay. they wouldn't understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, do you have any questions about the bottomless bubble? I've already asked some, but I, I let's see. My my any other question is. Does it include? Um, does it include any special coffees? No. Um, does it include? It does, not. does it include bottled water? It does include. Uh -huh. That is a good question. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay, so nope. let's leave that as an open question. Uh, we'll I'll have to edit the that. comments later once we find the answer. If you know the answer, be sure to put it in the comments. I, actually. The bottomless bubbles does not because it okay. it goes more with the second option. Okay, and that's the cheers beverage. Okay, cheers. now we're talking. <laughs> okay, almost. And cheers is a one flat price for spirited drink. Woo! <laughs> not those type of spirits. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's close to the season, so I when I hear spirited drinks, it's. Okay, before before we move on, because because I, I I can tell we're losing control here. Um, I'm excited to move on to the cheers package because nothing against bottomless bubbles, but I, I'm all about the cheers. Um, MG and Family Travel asked a question. Okay. They want to know if it includes energy drinks. Did you happen to come across that in your research? I did, okay. and that's part of the cheers beverage package. So it's not included in bottomless bubbles, but it sounds like it it's, might be included in cheers. Yes. So, okay, so let's, sorry to, sorry to stop you there, so, um, but I, 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 I was curious to know if I could get my Red Bull. You can with the cheers beverage package. Okay. So it, it starts at a flat rate between 50 and $60 per day. 50 or $60 per day per mm -hmm. person. So, okay. um, you can sometimes save a little bit if you buy the package beforehand, mm -hmm. and um, and that's where it, it, they have that cutoff also at eleven fifty nine. If you want to buy it before, it's the cutoff before you sail. Okay, it's eleven fifty nine. So it's like it's just like the bottomless bubbles. You got to uh, be sure to um, be sure to order it. You can't order it the morning of your your sailing until you're on board at least. So what does this all include? I kind of alluded to it. Mm -hmm. It includes all spirits, <laughs> meaning like uh, hard liquor. Okay, you're making that spirits joke again. Why are you laughing at spirits? <laughs> Wait, before we continue, we got to say, see the world with Chris is here. Good to see you, Chris. Hey, Chris. Glad to have you here. Um, Joy's explaining the carnival drink packages, and every time she mentions the, uh, the spirits in the the cheers package, she gets a little giggly. <laughs> so I'm not sure I'm not sure what's up with that. But okay, so the cheers package includes spirits. That means cocktails. Mm -hmm, yes, and it not, also not, not ghosts. It is that time of year, but no. <laughs> it also includes soda, zero proof frozen cocktails. Zero, okay, okay. So like a non, if you wanted a non alcoholic. Uh, like a cherry daiquiri like a, or something, exactly. strawberry daiquiri, I think it's actually um, <laughs> or strawberry margarita unloaded. Okay, <laughs> unspirited. It probably tastes about the same as the the, the strawberry daiquiri because there's no alcohol in it. But yeah, it's I, I I'm with you. And so. the cheers package also includes energy drinks. Oh, nope, there Red you Bull. go, Bill. You got be, Bill's getting his Red Bull or or and can, or and mm -hmm. specialty coffee drinks. Oh, specialty like coffee drinks. That's hot, what I was asking about. Yeah. Like uh you want a mocha frappuccino. Frappuccino. <laughs> oh goodness. If they make that. Uh-huh. And, and 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 it and also includes fancy hot tea. Fancy? Wait a minute. I hold that thought. So 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 MGM Family Travel is reminding us that the spirits are actually on the, on the traveling gearbox, which if any of you watched their live show, 
you know what he's talking what Bill's talking about. If you haven't, you gotta watch because you're missing out on some very uh, Halloween appropriate activity going on. There. Exactly. Nice. Anyway, um, what kind of tea? That what's this well, fancy tea stuff? What, if you just do the what the the um, cruise line offers, they do offer like generic oh, basic tea. tea bags. Yep, like you're like basic Lipton Lipton, or whatever. Lipton, yeah, but if you want the fancier oh. tea, like from Bigelow or Ooh. from I can't think. What of about the other like brand cha name. maybe chai tea? I don't know if they have chai tea, but I bet I bet that would be uh, not not mm -hmm. included. Okay. Yeah, that okay. would be included. Let's not get too caught up on the so, tea. We're not in England. It also includes bottled water up to 500 milliliters of bottled water. Oh. So I was like asking Dan, I'm like, what size is that? <laughs> 500 <laughs> milliliters? That must be it. like, I don't know. And he said that it's the bottled water that you mm. see in your room when you come in. Yeah. Well, I mean, depending on what room you walk into. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's half a liter. Yep, it's or, or, or a quarter of a two liter bottle if you're familiar with the uh, soda pop. So We're getting off. There. You can also it also includes packaged water that they offer in the in the dining rooms or specialty restaurants. So if they are offer you sparkling water, mm -hmm. that's included in your. Okay, and included we, in that. That's that's good. So you get a choice of water. You can get your even though this is in bubbles. This is Cheers. You can get bubbly water. Or yep. you can get non you can, water. You can get that sparkling water right. if okay. it's offered in the dining room. So I don't want to get you derailed if you're not ready to answer this. So if, if you want to wait, you can wait. But See the World with Chris is asking, what's the best liquor you can buy on Cheers? And he mentions there's a $20 limit apparently on drinks. It is. What would cost I'm glad you that? mentioned that. So, hey, I can I can answer that when you're ready. I, I, Go I, ahead. I, I, could, I can name some expense. Basically any scotch probably. I mean, any, any single malt. I'm a whiskey guy, so I would probably go with a single malt Any scotch. top shelf liquor. Oh. You can oh. get a discount of 25%. So you get a discount off of the really expensive stuff after the after the $20 limit. And and Bill figured out it, he, he found something that's $18. I wonder if there's something $19.99 that you can get. But he had an $18 shot of tequila on the horizon. So, so anything that's, that's, any be included, spirit, right? yep, that would be included. <laughs> Any spirit or alcohol that is twenty dollars and more, mm -hmm. you get a twenty five percent discount. Okay, so if it's under twenty dollars, mm -hmm. it's included. Okay, so you can also get twenty five percent discount off the menu price for wine and champagne. Okay, okay. So if you go to a restaurant like the steakhouse and you want champagne for to celebrate my birthday or occasion? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> why, it, why it's automatically your birthday all of a sudden. Okay, or... let's let's celebrate Joy's birthday. It's 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 a June birthday, so I don't know why we're talking about it in October. We're well, supposed to be talking about ghosts and or goblins. Any... <laughs> or celebrate Cele... Halloween or something. Yeah, let's let's get a bottle of wine to celebrate Halloween. Anyways. So I assume since you you since it's not included. Right. The wine and champagne, of, you were talking about like regular sized bottles that you would share. So, yes. that, so that's why the exactly. discount applies instead of, because it would cost more than a typical drink. So it does not include the drinks that you would get for seminars or classes, such as if you went to a, mm -hmm. a, a whiskey take, tasting oh, class, okay. you'd get 25% off. Or you could get 25% off of your mm -hmm. whiskey tasting or wine tasting um, exactly. uh, activity. Or if you oh, get the that. wine, it doesn't. it's not included if you get the wine from the dispenser, automatic dispenser, you know? Mm -hmm. It's found in the library, I think. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes it's labeled as a library bar. Right. And it, it also excludes, like, the beverages from the gangway or bottles, any bottle of liquor. Mm -hmm. So. Mm hmm and it's not covered through room service either. Right. So. Okay. Fair enough. Um, and you're not allowed to share cocktails with people, such as get floaters or pitchers or tubes or buckets. They're like, no. I don't even know half the one... stuff you're talking about there. <laughs> well, sometimes, you know, if you have a group of people, you want to share a bucket of beer. Okay. So so you, you're on, uh, like, our, our first carnival cruise. Right. I think... That was the cruise where we were on during the Super Bowl. 
Yeah. And you don't drink beer. Right. And so I was walking around with my sad little bucket of beer for one. Yeah. Even though we weren't on the drink package, but that's the way you have to be. So if you're if you're with like your buddies and you're all watching the football, you all like beer, whatever, you'd each have your own bucket. Yep. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Because no sharing cocktails. Well, that's that's a good thing. Uh, drinking is not a social activity because that would really put a cramp in that. <laughs> so um, it also excludes beverages offered through the wine machine, as I said, or mm -hmm. the beer machines. So, oh, the beer machine. And all other beverage related programs is is excluded. <laughs> Bill, I saw that. I heard that too. I heard that too. We'll just we'll move on. Okay. Okay. What was he saying? <laughs> Something about floaters. We'll just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I don't. <laughs> just keep <That's>... going. <laughs> We're gonna lose joy now. It does not include food items. It's just for beverages. Food items. Yeah. That's Some people try would... and get a discount. Oh, I thought you were talking about floaters still. No, no, no. Okay, because you know what a floater is. Um, I think what he's thinking about is a floater. Oh, my goodness. So that's Bill for you. <laughs> okay. So here's the except, here's the rule, though. Mm -hmm. if, oh, another rule. Yep. Oh, boy. If I don't want to get the, the cheers package, but my husband does. Yes, I do. We both have to get it then. Oh, that's right. Yes, because yeah. So anyone who's twenty-one and older in your party, in your in your room, they all have to get it if one person gets it. So let me see if I understand this right. And I think I understand the reasoning behind this. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe Carnival is the only cruise line that operates like this. But what you're saying is that if a group of adults are traveling together and they're sharing a suite or a room or whatever, mm -hmm. that if one of them wants to get the cheers package, that they all have to get it. Mm -hmm. But even though they're all, they all have to get the drink package, they, they have to share in that experience. Right. But they have to, they can't share any of their beer. They got to get their own right. buckets of beer. But they have to get their own buckets of beer. But okay. let's say, you know, no, I, I'm not, I'm not much of a drinker and you are, we would still have to do the drink package or let's okay. say. You... Well, could you get a bucket and then just, just, just slide it. To... We'll move or not. No, 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 We're no, no, honest cheating. people, no cheating. That's right. So the other, the final one, and it's not really a drink package, but it's, it's still a choice is you pay as you go. And okay. Because sure. sometimes you know, people have gone on on these packages uh -huh. and they've calculated like it's 15 drinks. Right. Per okay. Day. You take a drink of water. I think you need to drink water. Thank you. Um, so th there is a limit of 15 drinks per day. Um, and <clears throat> what happens if you hit your 15, as Bill was alluding to before, um, it, you're, you're basically cut off for the day until the, the next day. Yeah. So. Um, even if you're well behaved and not doing anything that would normally get you get you cut off at a regular bar, 15 is the limit for the day, so, so you can't go more than 15. That's 15 total with coffee drink, energy drink, um, fancy tea, mm -hmm. bottled uh, drinks. Yep. So it's 15 drinks all together. That's right. So, so talking about the carnival drink package, got to say hi to Lucy. Lucy, we hope you had a great time. I think it was at Slipknot. I think you were at Slipknot recently. Um, I was that. I know you. You had a great time there, and um, haven't been. Able to, I haven't. Had, you know what? I we're talking about this drink package, but I don't think we've actually done the drink package. We've on carnival. We've always done that third option where you go a la carte. Yeah, and we, um, we pay as you go because we figure uh, we don't want to be pigeonholed into trying to drink 15 drinks a day right or if we accidentally hit it like you you would probably hit it more i than... don't know i don't know because <laughs> I, I, we did do the uh, the drink package on another cruise line and i don't think i came close to that yeah. but um yeah and, and lucy's saying that um not just alcohol is counted so those other things that you yep, mentioned that are part of the cheers package right that's that's a good point to the reiterate bottle of water the energy the special drink, coffees the coffee. all that that counts yeah. so you might not i mean you could be drinking stuff that's not even going to get you tipsy at all right and still hit your limit 
Yeah. And you may, you may hit your limit like at eight o'clock at night, and then you're like, I want to get a drink. And then yep. they'll say, Sorry, you can't get any more drinks until the next morning. Yep. And very important. I got to put up. Uh, Lucy says, Slipknot was awesome. Well, as an Iowa born young man. What is Slipknot? I, I, is that a I group? I was a young man at one time. Is that yeah, a group they're, or a place? They're, they're a very, they're a band that you probably would not want to go see that okay. is from, uh, from Iowa. Well, Good old Iowa boys like I am. Okay. So um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, cheers coming up in 12 days. That's awesome. Yeah, we'd, we'd love to hear what you think of that. Mm -hmm. That's Chris talking there. So cheers package. You get more than you get with the bottomless, bottomless bubbles. Because I don't know I, if you said this, <clears> but basically if you get the cheers package, you get the bottomless bubbles as part of it, right? If you get the cheers package, you get the, you get soda and, and all those other things as part of it. Right. So it includes. It's, it's the more expensive package, but you right. get the stuff. You know, the non-drinkers or kids wouldn't get like alcoholic drinks and coffees and energy drinks. Although some kids might want the energy drinks. Yeah. So um, that's. So, and what we've always mm -hmm. done is because he's a drinker and I'm Why not. do you keep saying that? <laughs> this is water, folks. This is water. I don't know what she's been drinking, but me, the drinker over here. Oh, it's the spirits. Oh. Okay. Okay, but mm -hmm. we're live. You know. <laughs> so, for the you know, if you're not much of a drinker like I am, and and your partner. <laughs> okay, uh, see the world with Chris says he got the cheers uh, when Carnival for twenty percent discount. That's the thing to do is get it ahead of time. If you wait to get it when you get on board, uh, you're gonna be standing in line and you're gonna be paying full price. Yeah. Um, unless, unless I, I don't have the ever done a discount on board. I'd be surprised. I know they're they're Sometimes, very happy to sell to you at the very beginning. Like as soon as you get on, they offer it around the pool. <laughs> area they offer the drinks thanks 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 for see, see holly and andrew are here it's good to see you guys and yeah. thanks for the thanks for noticing my my um my whiskey i mean my water mug since you keep talking about how much i drink <laughs> she's sending me to see someone tomorrow no we're talking about the carnival drink packages and since we've been talking about cheers she keeps talking about how i drink and she doesn't so i'm that's more true. of a coffee or tea you, Fancy coffee or tea. You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, I, I don't know if you hit the 15, at least alcoholic drinks in one year. <laughs> I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Do you drink more than one alcoholic drink? Okay, we're getting off topic here again. Holy cow. I do Nothing drink. Nothing changes with these two. I do drink like a. I, this well, is a confession. You don't have to tell these people everything. Hey, I did have a half of a margarita bottle. Today? Well, last night. <laughs> okay. And it's still affecting her. So that's, so it, 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 let's, let's kind of wrap this up here. Um, the carnival drink packages. You got bottomless bubbles, nothing to do with uh, Michael Jackson's monkey. Um, and you got the, uh, which is the sodas and, and, and the non-alcoholic <laughs> stuff, mm -hmm. sodas and juices Juice. ma mainly. And then you've got the cheers package, which you know, is going to cost a little more, but you, if you go for it those 15 drinks a day, you get your money's worth. Your energy, your soda, your <laughs> bottled juice, your whiskey, your, your bottles beer. of water, whiskey, your, your spirits. <sighs> spirits. I don't know why she's always called spirits. So if you've enjoyed this sort of information and um, yeah, she said, <laughs> Bill says you're a cheap date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, you yeah. would think he'd be happy about why, that. Why do you why do you think I married her? I said, <laughs> that was the first thing I noticed about her. She's a cheap date. That's awesome. No, that's not the first thing I noticed. Oh Lucy, ow. help me out. Tell me what I'm supposed to say. Oh no. Now, so that's um Carnival Cruise drink packages. Yep. The, so, so just to read No, uh, you read you read summarize. a lot. You read summarize. A, no, you don't need to summarize anymore. We're, you want to summarize it again? You just summarized it. Well, Go ahead. Go ahead. To summarize. Mm -hmm. Carnival has two drink packages. We've put in a third package. It's the go at pay as you go. <laughs> That's not a package. The first I, keep well. trying to, I was telling her this before we said to record this. You can't say there's three packages. They sell they sell the two. Your third package is not getting a package. That's not a package. Well, it's an option. Three op there's three options. <laughs> so the bottomless first option bubbles. is bottomless bubbles. That includes 
Huh? Michael Jackson's monkey. No. Some huh? people don't even know who Michael Jackson's monkey is. So no. Raise your hand if you know who Michael Jackson is. Okay. Uh, anyways. <laughs> and what's the second option? Cheers. Uh-huh. And the third option is? Pay as you go. Pay as you go. And the fourth option, I would argue, actually is just get what's included. Get yeah. your iced tea, your tap water, your um, coffee, oh, your yeah. tea, the stuff that's yes. offered in the buffet area. Of course, you had to make a fourth option. I did. Just to, just because the spirits made me do it. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this, be sure to give us a like, a thumbs up down below and all that good stuff. We're going to move on to our second topic. Our second topic we're changing totally. Okay. We're switching a la carte. That's what you call it. A la carte. Um, we're switching from drinks to food. So, you know, we can't go long without talking about food on here. And <laughs> we talked about food on a couple weeks ago, I think. So it's time to talk about food. It's time to talk about food again. And um, we're going to switch from carnival. Why are you looking like Did you that? see that move? <laughs> yes, I did. I <laughs> can't see that. There's something a spirit moved, in here. Something moved, <laughs> and we weren't touching it. Now we're going to talk about food. But we're going to switch from Carnival to Norwegian. So if you love Carnival and, and, and you're, you can't believe we're going to talk about another cruise line, please don't jump ship yet, figuratively, <laughs> because we're going to talk about food, and that's always fun. So tonight, today we're going to talk about Norwegian cruise line food yes. starting with food that is included in the price of your fare so if you haven't been on the region this is just for you if you have been on the region maybe let's bring back fond memories so on the region my favorite includes inclusive option is oceans i knew it i knew it. i was waiting for, <laughs> i thought you'd say it before i said it and on some ships they have the local which is basically similar it's it's uh open 24 hours a day Every meal you can go there, uh -huh. no extra charge for the food. They have an awesome sit-down breakfast. You can do that instead of going to the buffet. Um, I love their little crunchy potatoes, little hash brown coins, as I call them. Great breakfast. Um, for lunch, you can go there and you get burgers, you can get wings, all kinds of great food. Exactly. Um, they also have um, nachos and just, yeah, it's pub food. It's pub food. Now, at, at um, breakfast time, it might feel more like a sit-down you know, diner breakfast or that sort mm -hmm. of thing, but lunch and dinner, they're serving alcohol too. You got to pay extra for that, but it, it's, it's like an Irish pub. So yeah. I really like that. Um, of course they have the, my, the main dining rooms and our experience on the region is that they actually had really good food in the main dining rooms. Yeah. Um, maybe better than some other cruise lines. I don't know, but that's just my opinion. Yeah. Um, of course they serve, um, they serve a lunch in there um, and dinner is the big meal. And that's where they'll bring out the special food like uh, prime rib and mm. um, of course pasta you know and fish. No, we're talking about the main dining room. Oh. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's the next one. Oh, and and they're booked. Uh, MGM Family Travels booked on uh, on excuse the oceans on Norwegian. We're booked on mm -hmm. on Norwegian too. We're booked on uh, Norwegian Escape. Norwegian so, Breakaway, I thought. No, that's a different ship. <laughs> okay. Maybe they'll tell us what ship they're booked on. Let's move on to the keep going with the food here. Now, okay. They also have, of course, the buffet. Uh -huh. The buffet has um all they, that all the typical food. What do you remember? I like that. Norwegian buffet has a lot of ethnic type restaurants yep. or food, uh -huh. ethnic type uh, areas of food. Mm -hmm. So you can get like, if you like really Indian mm -hmm. food and the curry, yep. you can go there. If you like uh, a stir fry, they have a walk station where you, you, you can get all your ingredients and hand them the bowl, like big bowl. Right. And they'll fry it up for you. Yep. In a pan. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yes, and I remember that about the uh, the buffet at the Garden Cafe on um, I think it was on Norwegian Jewel where you were really impressed with the the Indian food in particular. But um, they have you know if if you like just you know kind of comfort food and you know American food kind of they got that too. They got um, all kinds of great uh, salads and and entrees and desserts and bread. They have a and, good uh, Spanish food area too. Yeah, you're so, all about the ethnic food. Oh yeah. So, so Lucy says, and I, if, I can't believe I didn't remember this. Of course, uh, uh, Bill and, and Lucy from MGM Family Travel are going on the Norwegian Breakaway. 
And remember, they're going to Italy and Greece. <gasps> oh, yeah. You'll have yeah. to tell us yeah, all about that, it. I'm that, so that sounded so tempting. But we, we've, boy, we've got our hands full with the stuff we're doing right now. Yeah. Where, where our Norwegian cruise is, um, it's going to like Cozumel and, yeah. And, uh, I don't Pride care. Island. It's with uh, Norwegian, so. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. So now let's talk about, as we derail things as usual, let's talk about a few of our favorite specialty dining experiences on the region. Um, yes. One I know you liked is the Italian restaurant. You remember what that's called? Uh, La Cucina. La Cucina. La Cucina. La Cucina. Okay. Yes. So, and what kind of food does La Cucina have? I it's mean, Italian. Do you have any examples? Um, they make awesome spaghetti. Uh -huh. I like their spaghetti. The Plus... Their tiramisu. Okay. Oh. And they also have carbonara. And yes. they they do have pizza. If you're looking for that sort of Italian food, um, that's a great choice, too. And, and was that where they had the musicians? They were singing? No. Oh. No, that's that wasn't there. But maybe if you ask them nicely, I'll sing to you. Okay. So um, they also have fancier um, dishes like asupuko, if you want, want some of that. Um, and they have, you know, fun sides too. Like I remember they had truffle fries and, uh, I think maybe you had the, I think you had the garlic mash. I think oh, you were, I think you're about the mashed potatoes and I went for the truffle fries. Yeah. Yeah. So, and like you said, you got to finish your meal with the tiramisu. Oh yeah. Yes. Mm, um, tiramisu. so yes, I, 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 I think you would like Norwegian's version of Italian food. I think. Uh, Bill and Lucy going to Italy on the Norwegian breakaway will probably experience some extraordinary Italian food. Oh, yeah. But you might want to book La Cucina anyway and compare what uh, their, their their fare is What's on board. What's that lemon drink? That Limoncello. 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 So you can get like a limoncello. Um, okay, we're not supposed to be dessert. talking. Uh, okay, do we have that at La Cucina? Yeah. Okay. I there remember... you go. I remember seeing it on the menu, and I was like, oh, limoncello. So you didn't try it? But I got a Bellini. A Bellini. Okay. Yeah. Well, that sounds, that's, that is Italian. That sounds good. Yep. So there was one of our 15 drinks for the year. Um, <laughs> yep, the Italian. Hey, I, 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 I can relate. And that's some good Italian food. I can imagine Greece and Italy. But we're getting off topic. We're supposed to be talking about what's on the ship. Yeah. What's on the ship? My... One of my favorite places, which I didn't think would be, is the French restaurant. La okay. Bistro. We weren't going to talk about that one. <coughs> oh. Okay. La, La Bistro is a great spot for some French cuisine, but let's move on. The next one we're going to talk about was Cagney's. Okay. <laughs> okay. You've got to talk about... Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so, go ahead. Talk about La Bistro. The Bistro has the best... Fruit fondue, mm -hmm. chocolate cut up, and they, they, and they put it, they put the fruit in this little, in a half of a pineapple. Uh -huh. So yummy. Yep. At the time of our sailing, they had that. Hopefully, they still have that. I, I'm, I'm not oh, sure. Oh, I'd that's, be so sad if they took that away. Yeah, that's why I wasn't going to talk about it. I didn't get a chance <laughs> to verify that. Oh. So anyway, so maybe they have chopped up fruit and uh, some chocolate sauce for you to dip it in. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I, I unfortunately don't have a picture. Otherwise, I put that picture up that I've shown many times when you've talked about La Bistro. Limoncello. Is Limoncello included in the drink package? <laughs> That's where, No, we change cruise lines. But yeah, I mean, they've got a drink package too. Maybe it I is. I don't know with Norwegian. We didn't research the drink. See, this is the thing. Okay, let's just pull back the curtain here. She researched and put together some notes on Carnival's drinks. I researched and mostly dug into my memory, which is, you know, a little hazier than it needs to be, but of Norwegian food. Uh -huh. It's like we totally went totally different directions. And um, you can't you can't ask us questions about Norwegian drinks or, or Carnival food. It's, we didn't plan it that way. <laughs> anyway. That we just did one good. aspect. Yes, let's move on. Okay. Oh boy, we even had a week off, and we still have we still having a train wreck. So <laughs> now that we talked about the one I wasn't going to talk about, let's talk about Cagney's, Ooh. the steakhouse. <gasps> oh yeah. What do they have at What do they have at Cagney's? Steak. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> the steakhouse has steak. Yes. <sighs> yes. Awesome ribeye. 
Amazing ribeye. Uh-huh. <laughs> Amazing. Uh-huh. Melt in your mouth. Uh-huh. And if you're not and a big... It's big. Okay. <laughs> if you're not a big uh, ribeye fan, they've got filet. Oh, yeah. If you're not a big steak fan, you can go to Cagney's and you can get stuff that's not steak. Imagine that. Yeah, you can get, like, um, lobster. Yes, you can. Good job. <laughs> you can get shrimp. Yes. You can get it's it's a great classic um American steakhouse experience. And the ribeye, um, my experience is they prepare it in a very awesome, high quality steak. Um they they, they offer you different sauces and they, they'll do different toppings like the service is impeccable. Steak or, okay, hey, we're back about service now. Yeah, the service they, is good too. Yes. Okay, the sauces. I'm covering the sauces, she's covering the service. Let's move on. Let's talk about something totally different. Okay. What about uh, Moderno? Okay. That's another steakhouse. That's the Brazilian steakhouse. Moderno Churrascaria. So that is the Brazilian steakhouse. And they've got a great big... Before you even get to the entree, before you even get to the meat. This is my favorite part of Moderno. Tell me about it then. I'll be be back. My favorite part of Moderno is their salad bar. I mean, it's a salad bar above salad bars yeah it has it, a, all kinds of salad then I mean, they, they have, have pre-made salads pre-made salads. then they have like a a meat area uh, like a charcuterie charcuterie yeah, yeah. charcuterie and cheese and cheese plus olives wow olives and pickles oh my and that's what they have at the brazilian steakhouse but wait there's more to sit down after you have your salad they bring around skewers of meat yeah, by then I'm full because I'm I was enjoying <laughs> the salad. By then salad I'm salad bar. <laughs> by then I'm just getting started, and we get uh, they come around with the skewers. They 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 cut off as much as you want the meat of the beef of the, of the pork. It. They've got sausages. They got chicken. Oh, they got good stuff. even pork. I think. Yeah. Yes, I said that. <laughs> yeah, double pork. <laughs> yep. Yes. So. Uh, yeah. He, yeah, that's right. So that is um, that 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 those are some of the ones that we've experienced. Now let's talk a little bit about, um, and, and this will be interesting to hear you talk about it. Um, but wait, there's more. Yes, wait, there's more. So let's talk about some of the newer experiences on the region. Experiences that we personally haven't experienced yet, but we're looking forward to it. And maybe uh, Bill and Lucy will experience this when they're on a breakaway on their way to Greece. Yes. Um, they've got Food Republic. Oh, yeah. What do you know about Food Republic? Food Republic is an Asian. Uh... Okay, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Food Republic is more like a deli. No. No. <laughs> Oh, it's it's I'm not wrong. Publix. You're not going to Publix for your food. This is uh, okay. So so Food Republic is on the uh, breakaway and breakaway plus class classes of ships, mm-hmm. and um, you sit down. It's a kind of a casual setup, and they have um, like little um, iPads, little tablets, so that you mm-hmm. can order on at the tables. And they have sushi. So yes, I can yep. see where you said Asian. Um, they have um, ahi tuna. Uh huh. Um, I saw on their menu. They so also they can have, have they have like a tapas menu. It's kind of like a tapas menu. Yeah, you order all the cards. Not topless tapas. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. It. <laughs> Sorry. Well, there's an, there's an idea for a restaurant. Okay, so um, they also have um, it's not all Asian. They have Scotch eggs, which Ooh. are something favorite that uh, that That's I enjoy. Scotch it's... though, That's not Asian. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> so if you don't, it, 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 does anybody know what a scotch egg is? I do. Okay. Do you want? To, I want to hear you describe a scotch egg. It's a boiled egg okay. with sausage cooked around it, uh-huh. and then breaded and fried. That's that is a traditional scotch egg. Theirs, however, is a little different. Just one one minor thing that I noticed when I read the description. Um, it's not just regular sausage. They use chorizo. <gasps> So it's kind of a, a, a Spanish twist or a Mexican it's twist spicy. on, yes, on the scotch egg. And they also have um, things that we, I know you like, like um, firecracker shrimp. Mm, yep. And yeah. Korean fried chicken, oh, something yeah. I really enjoy. Yeah. So, yeah, a scotch egg. I think the last time I had a scotch egg was at a uh, Renaissance festival. Yeah. So 
I don't know that they all have them, but um, yeah, it's very unusual and it's not healthy at all. So no. don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to get anybody in the habit of eating those, but uh, my brother and I, when we get together, go to the English pub back in Minnesota, we would get the Scotch eggs, go we go to the, the Renaissance Festival, we get yeah. them. So that's the Food Republic, a lot of good stuff. Um, a couple other ones, I mentioned um, chorizo. Let's talk about Los Lobos. That's the new Mexican restaurant that, that are mm. that's starting to pop up on some of the Norwegian ships. So can you get like burritos? They have enchiladas <clears throat> and tacos, um, grilled shrimp, and they will prepare guacamole tableside for you. <gasps> Ooh, I love so me I some fresh guacamole. Guac and chips. Chips and guac. Oh. Yes. Chips and salsa. Well, I don't know about salsa, <laughs> Did guacamole? Yeah, I'm guessing they have salsa too. All good. Yep. So um, there's that, and um, they also have. Oh, of course, you got to get your dessert. What's your classic Mexican dessert? Tres uh, tres leches. Tres leches. Tres <laughs> tres leches. Okay. Flan. Flan. Is flan. Mexican. Yes. Yes. That's pretty good. Okay. So so no no three milks for you. You would go for the flan. I yes. think tres leches is a lot more fun to say than flan. But okay, that's just me. Let's let's let's. Well, I like. I think I would. I don't know what tres tres leche tres le. I don't can't even pronounce it. Tres I leche. I think you would. I think you would like that. What is it? Tres. It mean, It literally means th three milks. Well, it, why do I want three milks? <laughs> when we're done here, I'll, I'll we'll go to supper kitchen and I'll get you, we, get you three milks and you can you can enjoy that. Can I have some ice cream with it? Oh. We don't have ice cream. <laughs> nope. Yeah, nope. Okay, let's talk about one more. Then we gotta wrap this up because this is this is seriously derailed. Um, one more I was gonna mention is the barbecue joint. They have a smokehouse, the um Q Ooh. Texas Smokehouse, which again is is only on uh, a few ships so far, but um, it's kind of one of the up and coming places, and it's like your typical um. Barbecue you know, place. barbecue place or smokehouse back home. They've got barbecued uh, beef, chicken, pulled pork. Waiting for you to say the pork again. Um, sausage, you know, all that kind of good stuff. I wonder and if they have ribs too. I don't know if they have ribs. I don't remember from looking at the menu, but I believe uh, that maybe they do. I do believe that. Um, and for your sides, I know I would like to get the fried okra. Ugh. But maybe you would get the jalapeno, che uh, jalapeno cheese grits. Mm, maybe. Yeah, that seems more your speed. Yeah. So what would you get? Which of these restaurants on the region would you really want to try? Um, you know, the region offers those special uh, special deals where you get the, uh, the specialty dining package or the drink package, whatever. If you got the specialty dining package, you'd have to pick at least a couple of these. So... Put in the comments which one you would want to try. Yeah, fried ice cream. That would be that would be a good one oh, for yeah. um for Los Lobos. I don't know if they have that there. I don't know. I think if if uh, Food Republic can 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 uh, cook up a Scotch egg, I bet I bet Food uh, Los Lobos could figure out how to fry up some some ice cream. I almost said chicken. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, so boy. put in the comments what you think. Let Maderno. us know. <laughs> That's what you think. Uh, You're supposed to put in the comments. Oh. I would choose one of my restaurants would be Moderno. Okay, that's what you want. Because I that... just want the salad bar. <laughs> well, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can we, okay, we can do that. Yep. <laughs> uh, you, you get salad bar. I will save room for the, for the skewers of meat, though. Yeah. Um, it, it sounds like Lucy is, is voting for the table side guacamole. I think that oh, sounds yeah. pretty cool, too. And I, I would love to stick around for some of the other Mexican food there because I bet it would be delicious. Delicioso? Yeah. Something like that. So, um, what are we talking about next time? Oh. And next time, we are talking about a cruise versus an inclusive <laughs> uh, resort. <laughs> and you're telling me that you just thought of that off the top of your head? No, this is what I was, what I've been researching lately. Oh, that's, you were looking in your book, weren't you? Yes. Yes. Okay, so Joy has researched it. She's working on next week already. It's going to be cruise versus all-inclusive, which is better. If you enjoyed what we shared here, please give us a thumbs up. Honest, we're trying. We really are. We are. We are. And, and I'm sorry I derailed things by talking about Michael Jackson's uh, monkey. <laughs> but um, let us know in the comments what you think about Carnival's drink packages or Norwegian's food. Hey, let's book a cruise on both cruise lines and we'll compare. Yeah. 
Let's yes. do that. That'd be fun. I think we already did. Oh. Okay. Uh, the trick is just getting on the ships because the last, last few ones we've had have been canceled. But yeah. anyway, thanks for watching. We appreciate y'all stopping by. And um, again, um, if you haven't subscribed already, what should they do? Subscribe. <laughs> Good answer. Um, Definitely subscribe so you can hear that bell and be notified about when we're okay. on next. Okay, let me interpret that. So be sure to subscribe. And just click the subscribe down below and uh, hit that notification bell if you want to be reminded when we have something new. And yeah. some of our stuff is actually planned out uh, in such a way that, that I don't mess it up um, and it's informational. So we hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to subscribe. Notification bell on if you dare. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.